Hey class, welcome to uh, this week's spiritual message. Sorry, I got off to a really rough week. Um, I did have a family member pass away, and my uncle, my uh, mom's brother, who passed away from cancer, uh, battling cancer a week and a half ago, and brother came into town and just kind of threw a few things off, so I do apologize. I am back on track, um, or should be, and I will definitely uh, put up a video that shows common mis uh, misconceptions on the uh, unit three exam tomorrow, which is Saturday. So that'll be coming soon. I know I didn't get a chance to do a lecture this week, so I'll minimalize next week's for weeks four and five. Since uh, weeks four was not on unit exam, I'll definitely have something next week that kind of bridges both together. Okay, it won't be as long, um, but it will be to go over some concepts that I want to touch home on. But this spiritual message has a lot to do with conference, of course. Um, I, I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't be a spiritual message if it wasn't for talking about conference. Um, Jeffrey R. Holland, which is an amazing human being, gave a great talk. Now, some of the things that we're going over in uh, this class and the upcoming, also what you've been going over and reviewing and the stuff that's coming up soon is definitely going to be showing up um, in these conference talks and scriptures and stuff. And you'll see some of the concepts as well. Okay. Uh, one of the things about uh, this Elder Holland's talk was definitely about how uh, we should take up our cross and, and come as an individual ourselves, who we are, um, and, and not worrying so much about much, anything else, but also but coming unto Christ. Uh, and come completely unto Christ. And he gave the example of the rich man who was a young person who asked Jesus, you know, what should I give up so that I can be in the kingdom? And he wanted them to give up everything that he had possession of, and he couldn't. And so it was very interesting to me. But moreover, as we look coming up um, what, in this talk, as he goes through, because that before I move on, that part, I guess I can connect, I'm not a guess, but I am gonna to connect to the self and how um, we've been discussing the self, how we place yourself in society today and where we fit in, okay? So um, connecting it to a spiritual message, uh, Elder Holland saying, you know, bring yourselves, that's all God wants is yourself. Um, he knows that it's not gonna be perfect. He knows that it's not going to be um, necessarily uh, 100% uh, great, but that's the beauty of all this, is that he loves us despite our imperfections, and he wants to use that um, to help benefit society and those around you to preach the gospel. And, and there's a key message here that I want to get across when it comes to perfecting the self. Um, and what uh, Elder Holland said, and I'm going to share the screen with you here real quick. Basically, it says it right here in this paragraph. If you take a look at it, um, what is the key to this breakthrough to contend happy and happy living? Um, it's embedded in one sentence, the love of God to dwell in the hearts of the people. So when the love of God it sets the tone in our lives for our relationships, to each other and ultimately our feeling for all humankind. The old distinctions, limiting labels, and artificial divisions begin to pass away and peace increases. So there's no more Lamanites, Jacobites, Josephites, so on, no more ites at all. And in the upcoming weeks, we're going to go over groups and what distinguishes people as groups and why do people actually look at others as groups and stereotype um, and even discriminate. But in the end, it says they were all, it says, to be known as children of, of Christ. So it's very important over the next couple of weeks to, as you're reading these, the, the lessons and the, and the books, the chapters and doing the assignments, that you make that connection spiritually in that um, getting the best of yourself. And hopefully over the last couple, first three weeks, you're, you got to know a little bit more about yourself or what you read. 
that you can bring out the more spiritual part of your side to help you so that you cannot see uh, different groups, races, ethnicities, religions, but to preach the gospel to all creatures. And that's what we're commanded to do. And the question is what fits under the umbrella of creature? Everything, everything and anyone in this country, in this world. So um, my hope is that, you know, we can make the connection between the spiritual connection of the scriptures and what the Lord wants us to do, what you're reading right now in class. Bear testimony that this, this message from Albert Holland has touched me when I listened to it and I read through it again as I was going through the talks again. And I bear testimony that it's so true that if we don't look at each other as uh, groups, but as individuals, that it's easier to love and preach the gospel. And I bear this with you in the name of Jesus Christ.